Welcome to this tutorial video on deseasonalizing data. Deseasonalizing data is just another technique that allows us to take away seasonal variations and fluctuations from a set of data in order to analyze trends and make predictions. So we have here a set of sales figures across three years and broken up into quarters, each uh, representing thousands of dollars. So this is our raw data. And our task is to calculate the seasonal index of the quarterly sales for the data given below. The first step in calculating this, the seasonal index, is to calculate the yearly average. So for each of the quarters in 2003, we add them together, divide by 4, and we get a yearly average of 68.5. The same for 2004, add up the four quarters, divide by 4, and we get a yearly average of 73.5. And in 2005, the same again we get an average of 76.5. Next we want to calculate the yearly proportions for each year. So to do that we take the original data, sales data of 72,000 and we divide it by the average of the entire year. Quarter 2 we take its value of 64,000 and we divide it by the average of the entire year which will be 68,500 and so forth for quarter 3 and quarter 4 always comparing it and dividing against the yearly average for that particular year of 2003. Okay, so there's our yearly proportions of 2003. 2004, we do the same thing, but this time we use the yearly average for 2004. So in the first quarter we take 75,000 and we divide it by 73,500. Second quarter, we take 66,000 and divide it by 73,500, etc., for all four quarters. And we have the yearly proportions for 2004. And we repeat this finally for 2005, whereby each quarter is divided by the yearly average of 76.5. Now, finally, to determine the seasonal index for each quarter, we simply average these yearly proportions. So 1.05, 1.02 and 0.99 average out to a value of 1.02. Quarter 2 we average these three um, data, um, yearly proportions of 0 0.93, 0 0.90 and 0 0.89. That gives us a value of 0.91 and the same for quarter 3 and of course quarter 4. So this shows that on average the first quarter is almost what the average predicts. It's 1.02 it's very close to what we'd expect. This 0.91 tells me that the second quarter is on average scoring below. Getting exactly the same score as we expected is a 1.00 so this is below average so it's slightly below. 0.89 is also below in the third quarter however on average the fourth quarter at 1.18 the seasonal index is actually performing way above the average. It's the better performing quarter. So there's our summary. The next task we've got is to calculate the deseasonalized data from the original data. Now this is relatively simple. What we do is we take the seasonal index for quarter one and divide every one of the quarter one values by that seasonal index. Okay, and this deseasonalizes or takes away the seasonality from our data. Quarter two, we divide each each one of quarter two from 2003, 4 and 5 by the seasonal index of quarter two, 0.91 gives us the following values. Quarter 3, we divide each of those values by the seasonal index for quarter 3 of 0.89, get the following values, and the same for quarter 4 with the seasonal index of 1.8, 1.18 rather. And there's the quarter 4 seasonal index. That is our deseasonalized data. Our third task is to plot both the actual sales and the deseasonalized data on the same set of axes. So I've used my TI Inspire and this is the data I've got. This is how it looks. Our sales here are in the blue squares. A fair bit of variation. Whereas that deseasonalized data is the yellow or orange circles. It's a lot, uh, what would you say? It's a lot less varying. And there's a general trend that goes upwards as you can see. Well, let's have a look at how we did that in our TI Inspire. So here's our original data. Of course, we can't put in quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, or four for each of the years. We have to give them a time code. So the first quarter, we give a time code of one, second, two, three, and four. The following year, the next quarter is five, six, seven, eight. Then the following and final year was 
quarter 9, 10, 11 and 12. We've got our sales and I've also entered in the deseasonalized data. So we go across to menu and we'll do a graph. First of all, we'll look at our sales against our quarters. Okay, now we can right click, we can add a variable and we'll add in our deseasonalize. So there's our two sets of data. Of course, what we want to, we can connect the data points for both and that should hopefully look very, very similar to what I had earlier in my notes. Good. Let's, for now, um, remove, we'll go back to our deseasonalize and we'll look for a line of best fit, a regression line. So menu, um, analyze, regression, and we like the a plus bx format. So there's our equation y equals 67.36 plus 0.84 lots of x. Nice job. In fact the next task was to determine the equation of the least squared regression line for the deseasonalized data and that's what we just discovered. That the deseasonalized sales would be equal to 67.36 plus 0.84 times the time code or the quarters. Now finally we're asked to use the least squared regression line for the deseasonalized data to calculate the deseasonalized sales predictions for the first quarter of 2006. Now our data up until now finished at 2005, um, the first, for fourth quarter rather for 2005 had a time code of 12, so the next quarter which is the first quarter of 2006 would have a time code of 13. So by substituting that into our new linear regression we find that deseasonalized sales 67.36 plus 0.84 times the time code for the quarters of 13 gives us a value of 78.28 remembering this is actually $78,280. Oh, there was one last task. Use the deseasonalized sale prediction using the deseasonalized sale prediction estimate the actual sales prediction using the first quarter of 2006. Because that equation we just used, actually if we go back to it, is looking at deseasonalized. It's taking away, this, taking away the seasonality from our prediction. If we want to go back now and estimate the actual predicted value, we need to do the reverse. Instead of when we found our deseasonalized value, we looked at the actual and we divided by the seasonal index. Now I want to go back to the actual. In order to do that, I must multiply the seasonal index across to the deseasonalized value. So we put in our deseasonalized value of 78. To 8,000 or 78,280, and we multiply that by the seasonal index of the first quarter because this is looking at the first quarter of 2006. And if you look back in our video, the first quarter seasonal index was 1.02. Multiplying that together, that predicts the actual sales during the first quarter of 2006 to be $79,845.60. Stay tuned for future videos.